Abbott recently announced some game-changing upgrades to their Freestyle Libre Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. But here is the kicker, most of Freestyle Libre users are not tapping into these improvements. In fact, more than 90% of them don't even know about all these new features. So in this video, I will show you what exactly these new features are, when you can start using them and how they will make your life easier. And if you watch all the way to the end, you will find out if Freestyle Libre sensors are really getting 10 times better. Better. But first, let's talk about the reason why Freestyle Libre is coming up with all these improvements. See, whenever I talk to people who use a competitive CGM, mostly Dexcom, and ask them why they choose that CGM over Freestyle Libre, they usually say something like this. Well, Dexcom is more accurate and more reliable. It integrates with my internal pump, and I don't have to scan the sensor with my phone to see the readings. And if you asked me a few months ago, I would totally agree with that. Freestyle Libre really did have some catching up to do and that's exactly why they came up with all these upgrades. The first really exciting improvement that Freestyle Libre introduced is that they are expanding the sensor lifetime, making the new sensor last longer. If you used Freestyle Libre sensors before, you probably know they've always lasted for exactly 14 days. There really was no easy way around this, but the new Freestyle Libre 2 Plus sensor that the company just launched lasts not for 14 days, but for 15 days. So one day longer that all previous Freestyle Libre version. And that's the longest lifetime of all major non-invasive CGM sensors on the market that are available to people with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Now another problem that people have with the previous versions of Freestyle Libre sensors was reliability and accuracy. Some of you even reached out to me because your readings were often lower than your finger prick readings, sometimes even causing false hypoglycemia alarms as a result of these fake loads. But another amazing upgrade closely related to the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus launch is improved accuracy of the sensor readings, especially at low glucose levels. And that's great news. I'm gonna get a bit nerdy here and tell you that the mean average relative difference of Freestyle Libre 2 Plus is 8.2%. This simply means that statistically Libre 2 Plus is more accurate than Libre 2. It has the same accuracy of Dexcom G7, which by the way only lasts 10 days. But we're just getting started here. There are even more amazing improvements that Abbott is introducing. So let's see if by the end of this video they're gonna convince me to switch from Dexcom back to Freestyle Libre. And here comes the most important upgrade that has been introduced, at least in my opinion. See a big disadvantage of Freestyle Freestyle Libre sensors used to be that they were pretty much standalone devices. It was not possible to connect them with an insulin pump and create a closed loop, at least not in the US. But Freestyle Libre 2 Plus does integrate with tandem pumps right out of the gate. And so now it is possible to use Libre as part of a commercial closed loop system. Integration with Omnipod 5 should come very soon and other pumps will hopefully follow. By the way, in Europe, things are slightly different. The only way to use a closed loop with Freestyle Libre right now is to integrate Freestyle Libre 3 with the Ipso pump using the My Life Loop algorithm. By the way, I've used that system and I have a fuller review of that integration on my channel, I will link it right here. Now, before we talk about even more Freestyle Libre improvements and what Abbott has in the pipeline for the next release, I want to quickly touch on one thing that's not changing, and that's the form factor of Freestyle Libre sensors. Freestyle Libre 2 Plus will have exactly the same size and shape as the old Freestyle Libre 2. The price should also stay where it is. And the same goes for Freestyle Libre 3, which is the smaller version of Abbott sensors. There is a Freestyle Libre 3 plus in the pipeline which will also integrate with insulin pumps and it will have the same shape and size of the old Freestyle Libre 3. But while the Libre size is really cool, it's really small, one thing that's far from perfect is the adhesion. It used to happen to me that I knocked off the sensor when I bumped into a door frame or it simply peeled off. And that's why I like to add an over patch as an extra layer of protection to any CGM that I use. My absolute favorite patches are skin grip because they are flexible, easy to put on and they don't irritate my skin. If you want to check them out, click on the link down below and don't forget to use code TYPE1TALKS to get 10% off. But enough advertising, let's get to another important Freestyle Libre upgrade. 
This one is a game changer for those of you who are using the older versions of Freestyle Libre, but it also applies to those of you who already are on Freestyle Libre 3. You no longer need to scan your sensor to see the glucose readings because they are now sent automatically from the sensor to your phone or your insulin pump. This happens every 60 seconds, so everything is getting more real time and that's why you might be able to take action on any low or higher blood sugar earlier than with any other CGM. By the way, the minute by minute readings are available by default on Libre 3 and Libre 2 Plus, but you can also get them on Libre 2. The only thing you need to do is to update your Freestyle Libre 2 app to version 2.10 or higher. Now if you clicked on this video because you wanted to hear rumors about the upcoming Freestyle Libre 4, don't worry, I will get to those in a minute. But first, here's my take on the upgrades that we talked about so far. I consider myself a pro user and from my perspective, all these improvements are steps in the right direction. I love that Abbott is making these updates, but there are a few things I'm missing. I would like to see more customization to low and high glucose alarms, a much better looking mobile app and most importantly, an option to calibrate my sensors to my actual blood readings. If that doesn't happen, I will probably stick with Dexcom for now. Now before I talk about the next big thing Abbott is planning, I want to invite you to join my Patreon community. By doing that you get direct access to me, more than 40 pieces of exclusive bonus content and it's the best way to show some love to my channel. Places in my Patreon group are limited, so go ahead and join while you still can. Link is down below. But the next big thing Abbott has in the pipeline that might be coming up soon is the new BioVariable. I like to call it Freestyle Libre 4, although it's not the official name. This sensor should be going through trials as we speak and the main benefit of this system is that it will be measuring both glucose and ketones at the same time. I can imagine that this tool will be able to prevent ketoacidosis and a lot of time spent in hospital for many people with diabetes. So definitely a great improvement or at least a nice to have for all of us. But the thing is Freestyle Libre is not the the only brand that is making big moves in the CGM space. In fact, just a few weeks ago I tested another brand new CGM system and no, it's not Dexcom. If you want to find out what it is, click this video and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao.